It was a busy, bustling day at Brandon Docks. Tugboats chugged, cranes swung, and trucks rattled and rolled. Bill and Ben arrived with their trucks of china clay. Here you are, Cranky, they whistle. Your china clay is for you. I know that, called Cranky. You said the same thing every week. We thought you've got a good memory like an elephant, teased Bill. Cranky didn't think it was funny. Silly little engines, he muttered to himself. As Cranky turned around, when there was a strange noise. Or cried Cranky. My gears are creaking. Bill and Ben heard the creak and started to tease Cranky even worse. Looks like Creaky Cranky goes creaky, chuckled Bill. He won't be creaky here, giggled Ben. But he will be creaky at the scrapyard. Still laughing, Bill and Ben puffed away. The twins were only joking, but Cranky believed them. What if Bill and Ben were right? He thought. What if the other engines hear me creaking? They will tell the fat controller, and then he will send me to be scrapped. Cranky felt very worried. Later, Arthur arrived with his fish trucks. Hello, Cranky, he called. These fish are ready to be loaded onto the ship. Cranky was worried. He didn't want Arthur to hear his creaky gears, and he didn't want to be sent for scrap. Then he had an idea. Um, Arthur? He called. Why don't you go to the yards and wait? What for? asked Arthur. He was puzzled. So then I'll give you a shout when your trucks have been unloaded, replied Cranky. Well, if you say so, said Arthur, and he puffed away. As Arthur left the docks, Cranky started to unload the fish. <laughs> Just then, Vanilla arrived. Hello, Cranky, she called. I'm here to pick up a very important cargo and take them to Nathla Yard. Cranky didn't want Vanilla to know he was creaky. So he thought of another excuse. The ship with your cargo will be late, he said. It's delayed at the mainland. Why don't you go to the yards and wait? Then I'll give you a shot when the ship comes in. Vanilla looked puzzled, but she agreed. <coughs> when Vanilla had gone, Cranky carried on unloading the trucks. <coughs> At the yards, Edward and Arthur were talking as Vanilla puffed in. What are you doing here, Vanilla? Edward asked. I thought you were collecting the cargo. I was, but Cranky told me the ship is delayed at the mainland. So he told me to wait here until the ship arrived. Just then Thomas arrived. Hello, he tooted. I'm here to collect new tools for the Farquhar Quarry Company. I bet Cranky will tell you to wait at the yards as well, said Arthur. And he and Vanilla told Thomas about Cranky. That doesn't sound like Cranky, thought Thomas. No, agreed Edward, but I'm going to find out what's going on. When Thomas and Edward popped into the docks, they heard the strange creaky noise. What's that? asked Thomas. Edward saw Cranky was creaking while working. Cranky, he whistled loudly. 
Cranky jumped and dropped the crate of fish onto the tracks. Thomas! Edward! What are you two doing here? he cried. We're here to ask you what is going on here, said Edward. So am I, said a voice. It was the fat controller who had just arrived. Cranky, the dock manager phoned me saying that you were acting weird. What are you doing? Poor Cranky felt terrible, but he had no choice. I'm sorry, sir. I asked Arthur and Vanilla to go to the yard because I didn't want them to hear me creaky, and then I'll be sent for scrap. Sent for scrap? boomed the fat controller. Nonsense, Cranky. I would never do such a thing like sending my engines to be scrapped. Especially you, Cranky. You are a very hard-working and really useful crane. I will send an engineer to fix you and fit with new gears too. Cranky felt very relieved. But what made you think you were going to be scrap? asked Thomas. Cranky told them what Bill and Benz had said. So those two are at it again, wished Edward. I'm going to give them a good talking to, said the fat controller. And he did. Cranky was acting weird today because you two had said to him that I was going to send him for scrap. We were only joking, sir, protested the twins. Some jokes are funny, but not this one, said the fat controller. For that, you will help Alva bring the fish from Norby to Brandon. Yes, sir, moaned the twins. Next day, Cranky was fixed and looked as good as new. He had new gears and he didn't creak, not once. When he saw Bill and Ben delivering the fish for Arthur, he giggled. Looks like these two won't be working here, but they will be swimming with the fishes. Bill and Ben pretended they hadn't heard. <laughs>